Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to talk about contractors, foreign contractors and the SPARC program. Now the government announced that they have approved five foreign contractors to work on the SPARC program. So guys, what do you think about foreign contractors coming in to do the work? The SPARC program is a program where they're going to be fixing roads in Jamaica. Not patching, but redoing over 2,000 roads. So, one of these companies that is coming is actually the largest contractor in the world. Now, there are many ways to rank them, but in terms of revenue, this company is number one it's the china state construction engineering corporation cscec now in jamaica we the number one contractor is china harbor engineering company a chinese company they do an excellent job one of the best things that ever happened to jamaica in terms of contractors they will be a part of the spark program as well but other foreign contractors are coming now just to give you an example of how big this other company is china harbor engineering company is owned by china communications construction company cccc so china harbor engineering company is a subsidiary and the parent company is china communications construction company one of the largest contractors in the world but i just want to point show you how much bigger this other one is so the parent company at Ch check does 80 billion a year in rev in revenue this new company that's coming china china state china state construction engineering corporation does 300 billion a year that's why when you rank them according to revenue, this new company that's coming is the number one contractor in the world. So this definitely will go well for Jamaica because especially when it comes on to building roads, the foreign contractors seem to do a much better job than the local contractors. Now the government approved, are they approved five foreign contractors for the Spark program and two local contractors they haven't put out the official list yet but when they do we will let you know but they have announced that five foreign contractors have been approved so they will then be awarded contracts now china harbor engineering company came to jamaica to build a road the highway 2000 north south lake and they stayed and after the, the project was finished, they stayed and started doing other construction projects and it worked out well. So can you imagine if these other five companies decide to, after they finish with the Spark program, and they're so large that they can do other projects while they're doing the Spark program. Can you imagine how much more infrastructure and development is going to take place in Jamaica? So we will definitely keep you guys updated. Now we are going to well, we were going to give you an update on the Spark program, but we'll do that in another video. Now there are other contractors in Jamaica, but when it comes down to roads, China Harbor Engineering Company is the main one. They build all the highways. But you have other contractors, a lot of them are Chinese contractors as well, that do buildings and other infrastructure in Jamaica. And then you have the local contractors, which also do roads and buildings. But this is definitely good news for Jamaica because the more, I mean, for a company of this size to show interest in Jamaica, it's definitely a big thing. And it's not one more foreign contractor, it's five now i'm not sure 
if check is considered a foreign contractor because they've been here so long so but once the official list comes out we will let you know but we're just letting you know that that company is one of the five and they are coming to work in jamaica all right guys thanks for taking a tour with us today remember to like share and subscribe have a good day Thank you.